What's up guys, JV2017 here with another Advanced Warfare pre-release info video and our topic today is on Exo Abilities, which is a new system that is in place in Advanced Warfare's multiplayer that we've never seen in a Call of Duty multiplayer game before. So it's pretty exciting stuff. If I were to draw a comparison between another game's multiplayer and the Exo Ability system, it would be Halo Reach and Halo 4. Those have armor abilities. That's pretty much the same kind of system going on here. So I'm going to explain all of that for you all as well as list and describe all eight of the exo abilities in Advanced Warfare. So let's get started. What are exo abilities? Well, the thing they did in Advanced Warfare is they got rid of the lethal and tactical slots in the Pick 13 system and replaced it with an exo launcher slot, which I've already talked about in a previous video and an exo ability slot so the exo ability slot is its own you know point you can spin a point you can also spend two points using a wild card uh, to get two exo abilities which is interesting but that's how it works and each ability runs on an actual battery so all of these abilities are temporary they are not permanent and you'll also see that some of the abilities they draw a comparison from previous perks that aren't advanced warfare as a perk but are an exo ability and equipment so let's dive into a list of all of them. First off, we have Exo Shield. Quickly deploy a portable shield attached to your arm. So some things to know about this, this is not a shield that you can plant down. It's not a riot shield because there is a riot shield in the game. It's actually called a heavy shield. This is not that. This is a portable shield that again is attached to your arm. So you can move around with it and it drains your battery as you're using it. However, if you take damage, because it is a shield, it'll drain your battery even faster. So keep that in mind when you're running the Exo Shield. Next up is Exo Overclock. Gain a temporary speed boost. So this is interesting. There's really been nothing like this. It kind of reminds me of the Titanfall speed boost that you could get by running one of the uh, Titan classes, I believe it was. But Overclock is something that's probably going to be useful in TD, or not TDM, CTF, you know, some kind of objective game mode. Overclock's going to be a nice little addition there. Next up is Exo Mute Device, which silences your footsteps. This is Dead Silence. This is exactly the perk Dead Silence, but remember, this is temporary. It's only when you have it active and only while you have, you know, a battery available to use this Exo ability. So it's an interesting little change there. Next up is Exo Stim, temporarily generate health beyond normal levels. This is, I think the best comparison is again back at Halo with the Overshield. That's what Exo Stim is. So you generate health beyond normal levels. Say you have 100 health, with Exo Stim active, you will generate health beyond to a certain level. I don't know the exact level because I don't have my hands on the game, but that would be an interesting tip video that I'll probably be bringing to you guys, you know, testing exactly how much more health Exo Stim, you know, allows you to gain. And it's just like the Overshield, like I said, it's just more health above the normal amount. So next up is Exo Cloak, visually conceal yourself for a short duration. This is pretty much the same as Active Camo, and I know I keep going back to Halo, but there's a lot of comparisons here. It's the same thing as, you know, Active Camo in that game as well, and you'll still be able to see an outline. So you are invisible, but it's kind of like you can see them, but you can't totally see them. It's kind of that thing. So you may be able to sneak past people if you're using the Exo Cloak yeah, Exo ability here. Next up is Exo Hover. Hover in place for a short duration. So this gets you, I'm not exactly sure how high it gets you. It doesn't get you that high in the air, but while you're in the air, you can still shoot your gun, you know, use your Exo Launcher, do almost everything that you normally could have done on the ground you can do in the air. An Exo Hover sounds like a very niche Exo ability. I'm not sure exactly when we'll be using this, but we'll have to see when we actually get our hands on the game. Next up, Exo Ping. Show enemy Exo movements and weapons fire in your HUD. This is pretty much the same thing as the Ping perk from Ghosts. So everything will show up, you know, Exo movement. You guys know that that shows up on the radar. I don't know if some of you knew that, but it does. Every time you do an Exo movement, it shows up on the radar. But with Ping, it'll show as a red, you know, like indicator on your HUD, on your actually, on your, on your actual screen, excuse me, not on your radar, on your screen, as well as weapons fire. So 
that'll that's you know kind of an interesting awareness mechanic there. And our last one is Exo Trophy System. Destroy up to two incoming enemy projectiles. That's the exact same thing as a trophy system, except this is you know wrapped up in the Exo Ability System. So it's you know it's temporary. It's just whenever you have this active. So say you're capping B flag in Advanced Warfare. You use your Exo Trophy System Exo Ability. As long as you have that battery active and it doesn't run out, you will absorb two incoming enemy projectiles, which is a pretty useful little thing. It's no longer a piece of equipment that you lay down, it's an Exo Ability. So let me know what you guys think of these abilities. What do you think you'll be running in the game? Note again that you'll be able to run two at once using a wild card, so that'll make for some really interesting combinations. You know, what I'm looking at right here is Exo Stim looks really good. Exo Shield, Exo Trophy System, especially for objective play, looks really good as well. So, if you learned something new from this video, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget you can subscribe to this channel for more advanced warfare info when the game comes out tomorrow, and I'll have another video up tonight. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you all next time. Peace!